Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I'll be checking out DuckDuckGo on the iPad Pro. Uh, this is part of my browser series. I'll basically be taking you through the different browsers that exist and um, basically trying to help anybody who is thinking about switching from the Mac to the iPad Pro and basically will the browsers that you currently use be useful on the iPad Pro. The idea is just to find out if they're usable and if they can actually help you replace your laptop. So let's go. So we'll skip this. And yeah. Okay, so let's let's get right in. So the first, one of the first things I try to look for is bookmarks. You can see bookmarks are here. So I'll just start a new tab. And we'll just go in with pitch.com. Cool. Okay, there's a lot of tool tips. Okay, um, it's fine. Okay, look, <laughs> that's quite cool. I like the animation. No tracking. The scroll is smooth. So I'm using the MX Master 2S mouse and a Logitech keyboard. And the scroll feels nice and smooth. So far so good. I don't know what this means. Close tabs and clear data. Wow, just burn it all down, right? Okay. I love it. This is kind of impressing me a little bit. So you can change the themes. Let's try a light theme. Fire button animations. Oh, that's pretty cool. So they have given this quite a lot of thought. So let's try a couple of things here. So if we go to YouTube, let's see what happens. Will it take me to the site? Owns consent. I can't stop seeing that activity. <laughs> this is a lot of um, interruption. I know I've just signed up, so maybe that's why there's so much interruption. But um, okay, it's gonna do that. Just like all the apps, it takes me to the YouTube app. So let's go back and try this again. So, so right click works, which is nice. Oh wow! So. This is very much like Safari. Open a new tab, that's quite cool. So you know, I, <laughs> I know I said that's quite cool, like that's something special, but actually a lot of the browsers don't let you do that. So that's why I said that's quite cool. And if you click, it takes you there. So let's see, let's get back in here and see if we can get to the YouTube app. Now getting to the YouTube app is actually not always so easy on the iPad Pro uh, because actually it usually calls the YouTube app which stops you from getting to the site. So we can try this again. So maybe we can just find it in DuckDuckGo. Okay, thank you. And then we can see if we can look. Open a new tab. That works pretty good. And let's just hit any anything, whatever. Okay, wow. DuckDuckGo lets you do full screen. So again, it doesn't sound like a big deal, but I tried Firefox um, browser, I, I tried the Firefox browser and that would not let you hit full screen. So wow, that's pretty cool. And What you'll find is this probably still isn't the full version um, of YouTube. Um, it's close enough though. Okay. So I'm not 100% sure if this is the desktop version of YouTube. Um, it's pretty close though, because if we go to Safari and we go to YouTube, The only difference is this thing that I can see is these um, recommendation tabs, which you see on the full desktop version of YouTube. And you can't see that on the DuckDuckGo version. That being said, this is a pretty good YouTube experience. I have to say, I have to say, this is a pretty good one because you can do the cinema mode. Uh, mini player is here. So all in all, super good. Um, I can't really complain too much. Obviously, loads of ads and stuff. 
So let's try. Okay, let's just try and save stuff as a bookmark. How do you do that? Bookmark this page. Okay, simple. And then there it is. Super simple. And you also have. You can call the mobile site. That's pretty cool. Oh, wait, hold on. So what would happen if I call the mobile site here? Ah. Okay. All right. So that means I was somewhat wrong. Um, some somewhat wrong. So this isn't necessarily the. This isn't a mobile version. This is a desktop version but it's still not the full desktop version because the full one would have these tabs here. But it's not a mobile version, so, you know, that is good. That's what we want. So in terms of the way the tabs work and the UI works, it's all pretty good. The only thing I haven't liked is maybe too much interruption, um, but that might be something you can turn off somewhere. But yeah, all in all, I think the DuckDuckGo experience is pretty good on the iPad Pro. Um, of course, it won't have any extensions, stuff like that. Uh, but that's like every single browser on the iPad Pro. So the last thing I want to test is Vimeo videos. So you can see. Yeah, and then it just works the same way. So I'll be say I'll be honest I've been I've been quite impressed by DuckDuckGo. The scrolling is really nice and smooth, no problems there. Unlike Firefox where there was some problems, and you know obviously typing is no problem. It's it's a very simple browser, very simple. If you you know you can do private whatever, um, whatever you want. Yeah, so I, I would actually been quite pleasantly surprised by this actually. I, I didn't expect to really. This opening new tab is really good. A lot of the other browsers don't actually let you do this. So yeah, all right, fair play to DuckDuckGo. It's a really well considered version. And actually, I would actually recommend this. Um, I wouldn't recommend it maybe for work, I still think Safari is the best browser if you're doing work on the iPad Pro, but if you're just doing some general browsing, and of course, if you care a lot about privacy, um, yeah, this is really, really, really good. I would definitely recommend it. There's no real drawbacks in terms of the iPad Pro experience. Um, any of the drawbacks, you know, in comparison to the desktop exist in basically all the iPad Pro browsers. So really, this has been a good experience. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button. Um, it takes a moment for you, but it means the world to me. And also hit the subscribe button if you like uh, content about the iPad Pro. I'll be making a lot more content about the iPad Pro. As you all know, iPad Pro is on the horizon. The M1 iPad Pro is on the horizon. And I'll be covering that on my channel, reviews, unboxing. And one thing that a lot of channels don't do, I answer all questions, so if you have a question, about this video or iPads in general or any of my future videos, I will answer all your questions. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this helped and I will catch you in the next one.